Hi, I'm Reva with Quality Sewing and Vacuum, and I have something really exciting to share with you today. We're going to talk about creating your own quilts and getting them all planned and ready to go and do it with a piece of software that's brand new from Alex Anderson and Quilter Select. The software is called Design and Quilt, and it's really easy to use, and it will let you create your blocks. It will let you create your quilts. It will even let you create um, complicated blocks and do paper piecing and foundation piecing. And it will tell you how many yards of fabric you need so you're not short and you don't have too much left over. And it will uh, print out templates for the shapes. It will even give you rotary cutting instructions. Now, if you wanna make a quilt label or add embroidery and quilting designs to your quilt, you can plan them right there in the software as well. You can even stipple right around an embroidery design. So let's get started and take a look at this new piece of software. It's really pretty fun to use and it's really not very difficult either to, to work with. So when you open up the software, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this. And in this area, it's called a splash screen. It's gonna give you new information when something comes up or if an update is available, it will tell you there as well. You can open up a design that you've worked on before or a layout you've worked on before, or you can go in and start a brand new um, project. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So if you take a look at the top screen, the second row of icons here, the first section are pink and the pink ones have to do with embroidery. So you can make a quilt label, you can add designs, you can do all sorts of fun things there. The next set of icons are purple. And these ones have to do with a block, with creating a new block or accessing the block library. Then you can also modify your block here. The next section, which is blue, has to do with the quilt layout. So this is talking about the whole section. And we're gonna go over the blocks, we're gonna go over the quilt, and then we're gonna also talk about getting your uh, your instructions and how that works. So let's go take a look at the block library. So in here, in the block library that's included, there are tons of different categories. So let's take a look at chains. So these are all things using chains or they look like links, that's pretty cool. And then we have a typical nine patch. There's also an eight pointed star. There's all sorts of wonderful things that are included in here. Here's a great one that's on patchwork. This one's really fun. So let's open this little block up and take a look. So this block, as you can see, if you look underneath the block, there are two rows. One just has the three colors in it that is part of the quilt block itself. And then underneath that, there is a full palette of all sorts of different colors. Now this thread palette, you can use, um, at, you know, whichever one you want, you can pick the colors right from here. Or if we go over here to the center section, it lets us choose the different thread palettes that we have to work from. So right now it's on Hemingworth, but maybe I want to go to Floriani Poly, and then it has all of the colors from the Floriani thread palette, all 360 colors, which is pretty cool. So you can do that if you want to. Now, why on earth would you want to work with thread palette when you're doing a quilt design? Well, this can work out really well if you're wanting to um, kind of just have colors to work with. And we all know that a thread library has an awful lot of colors. I'm going to go over here to blue and I'm going to choose, let's say, blue Pacific. And I'm going to say fine. And then it found that in the thread palette. So, and there's my blue color. And now we've changed our color to blue. Now the red is rather bright as well. So let's see what we can do about getting a different shade there. So I selected each one just by holding down my control key. And then I selected all the elements there. And let's look for coral and see if anything comes up there. Perfect. Let's choose maybe this color right there. Now we have a great, um, a great looking block that might be the colors more of what you're looking for. And I'm actually gonna take this one and make it a little bit softer in color. These colors are great, but what if I wanna see fabric in them? And I think I do. So 
Let's go over here to the, on the far left hand side, there is another little icon down at the bottom and it says expand pop-up palette. So when we bring this up, let me move over my design a little bit, oh, wrong way. Okay, there we go. So here's my design. I want to change my, the, the gray part there, the light pink, I wanna change that into a fabric. So we can come over here to fabric and we can take a peek through all the different fabrics that are listed. Now, you're not limited to what is here right now. You can go in and you can actually um, grab images off of the internet of your favorite fabric or take a picture with your smartphone of a fabric that you might have. So these are just things that are preloaded into the software. And I actually saw one up here that I liked a lot. So I'm gonna come up here and grab this one. It's called white leather. And then I'm just going to um, choose my pink here and choose that leather. And there it is. So now I'm gonna close out my palette and let's move this back over so we can see it. And then I'm just gonna choose the other sections of my light pink and then come down on the bottom and choose that pattern. And then it changes into that, that fabric, okay? So this would be a good way to audition your fabrics and make sure that your quilt block is exactly how you want it to be. So now let's go in here and let's take a copy of our block, okay? And now that copy is sitting on our, on our um, clipboard, our imaginary clipboard, and we're gonna come back and visit that again in a minute. But let's go to file and go to print preview and take a look at what we get when we go to print preview. So for the block, it wants to know um, if we want to print a uh, fabric summary. Do you want to include seam allowances? Are you doing foundation piecing? I'm not doing foundation piecing, but I do want cutting instructions. So let's say, okay, and let's take a look at this. So here's all the pieces that go together to make the block. And let's just scroll through what it's going to print. Here's your fabric list and it shows you how much fabric you need of each piece of fabric. And then um, it's going to show you the cutting instructions. So it shows you, let's go in here for this one. It says that I need to cut one strip of two and a half inch by 44 inch wide fabric, then subcut four rectangles that are six and a half by two and a half. And that's out of our white kind of gray fabric there. And it goes on for each piece of fabric. Isn't that cool? So that's, oops, I hit the wrong button, sorry. So that's pretty a pretty neat thing. So now let's um, cycle through. And I actually hit the word print. Boo, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go in and hit our preview again. And so I can get back to where I show you. All right. So there we go, we've got, and I'm sorry, on this part, I said this was the, the actual size that you need to cut. It's not, it just tells you, not the yardage, but it tells you what you need for each one. So like this, the gray fabric needs four pieces that are um, this size, the pink needs four that are this color or this size and so on. Okay. Then we have our layout and we have our yardage of how much we need to purchase. Then we have the instructions of how to cut it. So that's really pretty cool that it gives us all that information. But now let's look at maybe um, let's do a new thing and let's create our own block. I'm going to get a new piece of paper or a new work surface. And then we're going to go in and let's just make our own block. So in here, what you're seeing, it looks an awful lot like a quilt, but it's really not. It's a block. So we can choose the type of block that we want it to be or the size we want it to be. And I think I want to do a four patch. So that means I'm going to have two segments across and two segments down, and that will make a four patch. I want them not to be an inch. I need them to be bigger. If they were an inch, then they'd be, it would be a two inch block. And that's awfully tiny. I think a 12 inch block would be good. So then this needs to be six and the height needs to be six. And then we can cl uh, click apply. And now we have our block right here. Okay. Now, 
Right now it's under rectangle, which means it's just solid um, rectangles or squares, but you can have it be a half square triangle if you want to. So let's click apply and we'll make it be half square triangles. If you want it to be a quarter square triangle, you can do that as well. And then you can, you can simply choose how you want this to be laid out. So right now I have a four patch that is uh, 12 inches finished, but maybe I want instead of this area here to be a triangle and a triangle, why don't we select them both and then we can group them together. And then this can be a half square triangle and it can be a solid color or a solid fabric. And then we can have a fun pinwheel in the middle. So let's take this section here and let's find a fun, a fun color that we want it to be. Let's go over here. I like this color right there. And then I'm going to choose, I think it scrolled on me while I was um, picking the color because that's not the color I was thinking. There it is. So there we've got our kind of our coral color. And let's go over here and I'm gonna say, I want green and then let's say find. And there's our greens. So I wanna choose every other section to be green. And I did it again, didn't I? You gotta choose it first, then you can come in and say find. So let's go to greens. I like this one right here. So then we have a good green. And then this one, I think we should do a blue color. So let's go in here and choose blue. And then we can go to our blue ranges. And well, that went to purpley blue. Let's see what happens when we go this way. All right, ooh, I like this color right, right there. So let's choose that, there we go. So now we've created our own block. It's a 12 inch finished block has a pinwheel in the middle, and then we can save this into our library. So let's go file and save to library, and let's call this pinwheel. And now we've saved our own block. So now if you wanna make your own quilt and plan your layout of your quilt, let's go over here to our new quilt layout and let's choose that. So now this is gonna work the similar way as the block. You can choose how many blocks across and how many blocks high you want to do. And I think I want to do five rows high. So I'm going to click apply. And so then I have five there and let's make it zoomed out so we can see the whole thing. But now as far as sashings, I don't think I want any sashing. So I'm going to put zero for the uh, vertical and zero for the horizontal. And oh, this is eight inch. And you know what? Our block is 12 inches. So I'm going to say apply there. And now we have our quilt ready to go. So let's look at adding in our blocks. So from here, if I choose a block, whoops, I didn't mean to zoom out. I zoomed out. Okay. So let's come over and we're going to tell it we want to work with selecting our different pieces. So here's our block right here. And we can actually paste that block in that we had before. Isn't that great? So now if we want to, we can tell it to paste to all the blocks to every other to uh, this just this row, or into just a column or paste to every other. And that's what we're going to ask it to do. And then we get this great looking um, little little project there. Now you can also go in and we could go into the block library and we can go in and choose the blocks there or we can go into my blocks and we can see the ones that we have designed here together. So here's the other one that we were working on. So we can switch it over for that. And then maybe we want to have the, um, the other blocks in, in our design here. Maybe we want that to be this kind of a lavender color. Well, we can do the same thing with that. So I'm gonna tell that one to paste to every other block. Whoops, undo, undo is our friend. So let's see if I can copy that one and then maybe paste that, whoops, paste to every other. 
then we should get that every one. I don't know why it turned blue, but that's okay because we're just going to go ahead and turn that back to our lavender color. And now we have our quilt ready to go. But we can add borders. Right now it has a border on it. So let's click on the border and then it, that will open up the border tab. And we see that this is only a two inch wide border. Well, that's probably not good enough for me. I want four inches there, four inches on the top, four on the right and four on the bottom. And let's click apply. Now this is a mitered border, but maybe you want to have one that has the blocked corners. So let's do that because that will be really fun. If we come out here, let's choose um, our border here. I'm going to come out and choose our edges and choose that coral color. And then my cornerstones, and again, to choose multiples, I'm simply holding down the control key. Let's choose the green. Oops, I forgot one. There's our green. So now we're ready to go. So now you can add more borders if you want to simply by clicking on the add border tab. That's not hard. And I'm gonna change that to mitered and I want it to be mitered and I want it to change the size. Let's see if we can apply that now. There we go. So we have our one border. This one on the outside is mitered and I want that to replicate my binding. So let's do that. And now we'll go in and we'll choose our, our whole border and let's choose our binding to be the lavender. Let's try that. And there you have a good example of what that quilt would look like when it's finished. Okay, so now let's look at the printing of this one. So we're gonna go to file and let's just do print preview so we can get a look at it. And then this wants to know what seam allowances do you want? Do you want it to cut or to make the pattern pieces? We don't really need to do that, but let's go ahead and just say, okay. And this will give us our preview. All right, so when we come to the preview, you've got your whole quilt, which by the way, you can save this quilt into your, your quilt library. So that way you have that to refer back to. And it'll be over here in this little yellow book over here on the left. You can also have it create a image of your quilt. So if you're working with a friend or you wanna share an idea with someone, it can make a JPEG. So you can just email it or whatever the case may be there. But first page is that full layout. Then here, let's take a look at this. So this is how much, this is the information for the quilt, the blocks, the sashing, and the borders. Then let's look at the next page. Here is the actual um, fabric and the, the pieces that you need. So you need 40 of the half square triangles. You need two of these uh, long strips and two of the little ones. So then it will go through and it tells you how to cut all that and how to sub cut it. Then we can go to the next page, which we're still working with the colors. Here's all the different blocks that you need. So if you were doing a sampler quilt that had all different blocks, it would show you each block and how it needs to be laid out. So that's really pretty cool. Then we're gonna take a look at the next page. And this is the actual layout and where those blocks go. So that's that could be very useful as well. Okay, so isn't that cool? It's so easy, you're ready to go. But I do wanna show you one more thing before I let you go. And let's talk about doing a block that is foundation piecing, because this is really cool. So I'm gonna go into the block library and I don't need to choose from mine. I wanna go down here to spools. There's this really cool block here that is, a, it's a six inch block, but it, it's a spool. Now, if you wanted to do this or you can design your own and you can design your own paper piecing. In fact, it this one, you can put a background in. So if you have a quilt that you wanna overlay or maybe you have an antique quilt that you wanna copy the block, you can do that. But if you purchase a paper piecing pattern, you can put that in here, use it as a background and you create your own block and have it print templates out for you. That's pretty cool. I know that's getting a little bit extreme. So let's take a look at the simplicity of this right now. So let's pretend this is perfect, exactly how you want it to go. We're gonna go to file and print preview and let's take a look at this. Now, instead of having the print cutting instructions, let's have it do a foundation piecing. And now we can go in here and let's take a look. 
it actually says the piece numbers right on the diagram, which is pretty handy. Let's zoom out one more so you get the whole page, but everything is numbered. Then we go to the next page. It tells us how many pieces of each shape and each color that we need, how much fabric you need. I love that. Then it actually will give you the full template. Now, since this is a six inch block with seam allowance, it, the, this is the foundation part. It has to be put together into four sections and you simply tape the um, foundation paper together. But here are the pre-sized fabric. Have you ever done uh, paper piecing or foundation piecing and you never know quite what size fabric you need? Now you can have it all uh, pre pre-organized for you and all you have to do is cut it out and in fact you can cut it out on your scanning cut if you want to all right so that's how that works the software itself is absolutely amazing it is brand new it is uh we'll have it in source soon and we'll be able to get you more information but i hope you enjoyed this little tour of designing quilt software from alex anderson and quilter select and thank you for joining me and we will look forward to seeing you next time on our How Do I series.